Can't we just start without her? She's been in college for what? Like a decade. Yeah. Oh, shh, shut up, shut up. Well... Okay. Okay. Uh, all right, be careful. I'm being careful. What? You're being a little rough with it. Yeah, fine. Sorry, Mom. Yep. Oh. Wow. Giving me chills. Leave. Just read it. I can't. I can't. Um. <sighs> My dear little acorns, it's been many moons since we were all here together like this. This is the first time we've been here together like this. No, no, no. We were together for Sky's high school graduation. Ten fucking years ago. Oh, my dear little acorns, it's been ten fucking years since we were all together like this, according to Scott. You know what, Brooke, enough with the commentary. These are my last two wishes. Please indulge me. Well, um, she'd like to spend a few minutes alone with us so we could say what we have to say. What? What? How? This is weird. Not doing. Okay, so mom, I did it. I took your advice and I did some adulting. Although Brooke might not think it's adulting, but I bought the food truck and I wish you could see it. It's not pretty, but she will be. But now that you're, that you're, you know, sorry. I bet I was your favorite now. I bet you get a real kick out of seeing me sling some hash out of my own diner on wheels. I suppose I'll have to name a dish after you. One with lots of butter. Better. You know, I like my name River. Rowan. Anyway, Angie and the kids love it, so thank you. So, this is where I say anything, right? Well, nice to see aside, I am pissed at you for abandoning us, for abandoning my kids being there for birthdays and holidays. You weren't available to babysit. Your grandkids needed you. I needed you. Am I making you nauseous? I hope so. I was 18 when you left. I could have gotten into drugs. Well, I did get into drugs, but I could have gotten into a hell of a lot more. I'm into books now, and I'm getting my PhD in modern literature in a few months. I'm not letting you go this time. Sky, what's oh. going on back there? Sky! Sorry, Mom. Just talking to Mom. What do you hear talking going on in there? I hear weird shit. Just taking a little moment to hydrate. talking about in here? Me, probably. You know, I always kind of felt like I was your mother. I was always worried about you, and then you left, and does she miss me? Does she get lonely out there? I gotta tell you, Mom, I do get lonely. Nobody needs me. There is this hole right here, and it echoes. Ugh, but the silence comforts you. God, babbling Brooke over here. Oof. Oh, what is next on your list? Number two, play the flash drive. Hello there, my little acorns. Betty Bennett, AKA mom here, park ranger. Hope you're having some good weather there and that you're eating right. I am. You've had your say, now it's my turn. I want the four of you to take a road trip. Together. Now. Today. Today. Just go. She's joking. 
To be clear, I am not joking. Just grab my ashes and go. Just drive. Uh, my dissertation in two weeks. No excuses. After the 14 hour drive, it's an easy 4.5 mile hike up to McAfee's Knob. And then you're gonna crawl out onto that ledge and I promise you, you will feel like you are floating. And then when the wind blows in, just sprinkle my ashes and let me free into the Shenandoah Valley. And then go home. I, I, I. Brooke, where are you going? Home. This, this is bullshit. She is so selfish. Not all of us can just pick up our lives and move to some fucking forest. You owe mom an apology now. I am not Why apologizing not? to her. Stop it. We have to do this. What about your dissertation? It's fine. We are never going to be together like this again. Can we please just make it magical? I'm willing to drive. Fine, but I'm not apologizing. Then I call shotgun. God, are we really doing this? <sighs> OK, Mom. We're really doing this. All right, you guys, tell the truth. Did one of you snag some ashes? Can't drive your car? <laughs> no. Oh, come on. No. Come on. Oh, you suck. Mommy's acorns need you.